beloved? Have you heard the good news? What good news? Captain Mark Ingestry is safe back home again. Listen, he has the famous Castleborough jewels worth 20,000 pounds. If I could only get him into my shop, I should have those jewels. Get rid of my rival and provide your pie shop with another consignment of nice, fresh meat. You think I'd have Mark room to a place like that? You know I love him. You're a fickle woman, Mrs. Lovett. When your husband was alive... Before. Before I polished him off, eh? <laughs> you were in love with me. That was before I discovered what a fiend you were. Thanks for the compliment. And so you transferred your affections to the sailor, Mark Industry. But he loves Joanna Oakley will have none of you. If he repulses me for her, then I myself will hand him over to you. Good. Good. <laughs> then I'll prepare to polish him off. But on one condition, that I get half the value of the jewels for my desserts. Oh, I'll give you your desserts, Mrs. Lovett. Never fear. Then it's a bargain. Good evening, Mr. Todd. Oh, yes. I'll give you your desserts. <laughs> what a lovely throat she's got for a razor. I'd love to polish her off. Where's that boy? He should be back by now. I shall have to polish him off. Mr. Todd, Mr. Todd. Oh, so you're back. Did he accept? Where's the answer? Here, Mr. Todd, sir. Here's the letter. Give it to me. Pass it on him. So he won't buy the stuff. You brat. This is all your fault. No, sir, no. I say yes, you workhouse brat. I don't like bunglers. Come, sit in this chair, and I'll polish you off. No! Oh, no, no! Quiet, I tell you. You have a lovely throat for the razor. Next time you'll bring back the right answer. So out of the world you go. The razor's nice and sharp. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Now I shall have to get a new boy. Where's that sign? Boy watching. Ah, here it is. I'll hang it up outside the shop. That's the way I polish them off. <laughs>